So these are like deep, deep villages. Guys, you see the vibe. That is coconut tree. Yeah. Even Somalis are here. Yeah, Somalis, Bajuns, Arabs are also here. And so majority, majority of the population. Medicanders. Bamburi, where we are, we are saying those people are all immigrated to the coast. But now, where we are right now, these yeah. are people who are here long, long time ago. Even if you listen to that music, these are Griam. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today is another day. So I'm still in Mombasa. Today I'm touring this estate. It's called Bamburi Estate. And uh, the best person who can uh, like, come this side. Because the sun is this side. The best person who can show me around, who knows this place better than I do. Savi, Saverius. Hello everyone, mm -hmm. welcome back to the channel. Remember when I told you Bamburu was a place for goats? Mm -hmm. You can see for yourself the bleating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they are usually around. Uh, the, we have so many goats around, mm -hmm. but right now we are walking around the estate. Yeah. I'm trying to show Lennox around. Yes. So, uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We just walk around. Mm -hmm. We'll continue. So, guys, I'm in Bamburi estate. A very beautiful estate. When you walk around, you'll notice the buildings, how these buildings have been constructed. They have different, like, there's a unique Swahili way how these buildings have been constructed. If you can see the architecture, guys, some of these buildings, the architecture is mostly Arabian. Yeah, so when Arabs came here, they intermarried with the locals, that's where yeah. uh, Swahili people came from. Ah, okay. Yeah, so... Oh, no wonder, because most of the, the buildings, like the permanent buildings, yeah. have no roofing. Yeah. Like, it, they, they, they don't... I don't see the iron sheets. Yeah. Like this. Swahili structure. Oh. Can. Interesting. So guys, when you move in these houses, when you just you get in these houses, they are they are so big actually. There are so many rooms in this house. So you see, this one has like some Swahili. See the way it has been constructed. And that side I see. And there's a there's a high increase in population around this side. Why? So basically, we are mm -hmm. near the beach, and this place uh, they offer affordable housing for working class people, oh. and they usually prefer to stay around here. Bamboo is like a cosmopolitan. All these people you are seeing, uh -huh. most of them came from up country. All the other families uh, in the uh, in the nation, yeah. um, most of them are not local. So oh, most they, of them are like are not local. Yeah, they, uh, if you talk to one of these a few people, you find we have luas here, oh. talents in in in. So those are like the local tribes. Yeah, these are people who came and settled here. Ah, okay. But they speak if you if you if you if you, get, if you listen to their Swahili, mm -hmm. they speak like the you know the Swahili of this people. Ah, after a while, uh, I think the accent just sticks with you. After a while. Yeah, you stay here for a while. You just uh, get the accent. But you, since I came, I haven't heard you. <laughs> I haven't been here for long that much. But you've so been here for some time. That's why yeah, you can't get my accent. But if I want to switch, it's like code switching. Because me personally, I can really switch. I was talking to some guy there and I already switched. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is, I don't know Swahili to start with. Uh, it, uh, it's called code switching. This is a popular thing. Ah, okay. It depends with who you are talking to. If you're talking to the Swahili people, if you speak their country Swahili, they won't understand it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, this is this estate, Bamburi estate. I'm taking you around. These people have like, I've seen the buildings here, nice buildings. 
Now this is how like the Swahili, they have adopted the, the Swahili, how the Swahili, how they live. And people live in groups, you know, purchased groups. find youths in groups uh, chewing cut. It's a very common thing. It's a common thing as well. Uh -huh, you can come this way. Huh? Uh, Swahili, the, like even the ladies yeah, so chew, chew, chew cut. Cut or mira yes. is a common stimulant drug. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's illegal, perfectly legal. Yeah, yeah, it's very legal. It's a way of people socializing. They just come together, they sit together, and they chew together. Because it's not a strange thing. I've seen even the, the ladies. Yeah, it's a common thing. With the very ladies, common with men. men. Yeah. Chewing it, huh? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hello, Mr. Stanley. So they're supposed to catch. Uh, so guys, this is uh, Bamburi Street. Oh, Bamburi Street. Yeah. Where we're walking right now is Bamburi Street. Oh, okay. So this is like the centers because. I think supermarket. Yeah, uh, we can call it a center or a satellite town, a satellite town of Mombasa. Because ah. yeah. so many things are here, including uh, uh, banks, so many clubs. Banks, clubs. We have almost like fast food, you can see. We have a man here. You don't know if they're not going to show it. Or... Oh, okay. We have KFC and chicken in everything. We have everything in Bamboo. So people usually don't even prefer to go So to is this like the downtown? Huh? Of Mombasa. No, we have downtown, downtown in Mombasa down. But this is just like a, a satellite town now. Um, a satellite town of Mombasa. Oh. Yeah. How about the security of this place? Uh, the security is relatively well uh -huh. during the day. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you can just walk and no one will harm you. So guys, I'm in Mombasa, Bamburi Estate. It's a 24-hour economy. If you are yeah, 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 actually, late. yesterday, yesterday I arrived here very late, yeah. and uh, the everything was happening. Yeah, at midnight like, people are still walking. The clubs are still open. Yeah, the bars true. are still open. There's some few shops here and there. The fast food the restaurant. So I'm sweating, but I'm not seeing you sweating. I told you, you get used to the weather with time. Oh, I've been sweating since I came to this place. Yeah. So the time now is 5.19. I'm walking in this street. A lot of things are happening. The businesses are open, you know. And the supermarkets here. It's a nice place, actually, estate. But I want to go deep, deep to where the locals, most of the locals live seen to interact with them their houses you know how they live their, their social lives because this is the best time to catch when people are back from work guys i'm in uh, bamburi estate we're still in bamburi yes yeah. and i see you know it's quite well built it's a nice if, place if you look at these buildings Personally, I feel the Swahili, there's some Swahili you know, incorporated in it. I don't know if you recognize something. Uh -huh. Tell me if you see anything similar with this building. Color-wise? Yeah, color-wise, by the way, by the way. Yeah, I'm so seeing it's more of white the, and some... Yeah, the previous governor, Hassan uh -huh. Joho, when he came to power, uh -huh. the governor for Mombasa. Yeah, that is the governor. Uh, the, well, that who was the governor, the previous? Yeah, the previous governor. Uh -huh. He said uh, all houses should be painted either white or blue. The official yeah. colors of Mombasa County. Uh -huh. yeah. so that's why you see most houses are either white or blue. Uh -huh. yeah, especially, also, especially in the CBD. Yeah, especially in the CBD. Uh -huh. 
Also, Kala, white has reflect of uh, heat. The heat, yeah. yes. Because, oh. guys, it's crazy. I have my, like, I have to get, like, a towel. You know, face towel. Because it's so hot. I don't want to look like someone from the. I don't know where, but I have to work with this because of the heat here. It's crazy. So most buildings, if you can see, are painted white or blue. White reflects the sunlight. Ah. Beautiful place. I think we should go back to get the end. So we get like and there are so many businesses in this place. And majority of guys around this place are Muslims, right? Yeah. Because uh, there are so many mosques, yeah, of most course. Of the locals at the coast are Muslims. Yeah. yeah. This is a Swahili, like there's some Swahili culture in the designs of these houses. If you have noticed. So guys, I'm exploring Bamburi. It's a beautiful estate. Uh, it's around 20 to 10 minutes from uh, town, right? Uh, from town CBD, it would be around one hour. Oh, around one hour but five minutes to one five hour. minutes yeah so yeah. right now in, we are not to consider a suburb uh, yeah, it's a full okay. place not no more apartments uh -huh. uh, just people and their family living around oh so there are families that live around this place yeah uh, most uh, of them yeah we won't get many apartments around here yeah? just uh -huh. people with their homes so guys look how this place is very green actually. It's away from the center, from the town. Whoa. That is a centipede, right? So, millipede or a centipede? I don't know. One of the above. <laughs> So these are, this place is very clean. Compared, if I compare this place to the other side, yeah. So this is. That's what I was telling you in Bamboo. It's almost like a town on its own. Yeah. Yeah. Too much uh, concrete, houses, apartments. So <laughs> here we even have farms. And there are people who farm around here. Oh, there are people who farm. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm sure we are. if you walk for a bit, we'll see farms. Yeah, I can see guys already. See someone in yeah. the garden. These are residential property. Ah. Yeah, there are a lot of these. Yeah, millipedes. I think millipedes. Yeah, it's last season. Ah. We encounter them. Uh, a lot, lot of them. Of them. Yeah. 
so most of these houses are residential uh, houses and it's very green most of the houses here people have even farms that they plant inside Mombasa Bamburi yeah you'd think the weather is too hot for planting but it's but by yeah, yeah guys are planting but they usually they irrigate the crops or something yeah some also just depend on the rain this yeah. year we've had sufficient rain oh. So it's, hey guys, if you're joining this video right now, kindly consider liking, subscribing to the channel. I'm in Mombasa, Bamburi, and uh, this is Saverio. Yeah, He's the one taking me around. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Yes. Like the video and uh -huh. share to your friends too. Yes, absolutely. So guys, I'm taking you through this estate. Some of uh, I just want to know around because I've never walked in these places. This is like my first time. Very green. These sides are very green. No, from here to the beach is a little bit far, right? Yeah, it's uh, some distance. Uh, like maybe 10 to 15 kilometers. Oh, 10 to 15 kilometers. Mm -hmm. But the sand is, the, the soil is very sandy. This yeah. is like, That's so what do they grow? Mostly I see like people growing uh, just, I don't know, what do they grow? They grow maize or corn, if you want to call it that. Uh -huh, okay. They can also grow beans, or beans. melon, watermelon, that's right. Well. Uh -huh. And the main crop being grown in Mombasa, in the, at the coastal region, as you know, uh, almost <laughs> everywhere is coconut. Yeah, coconut. Yeah. So, tomorrow I'm tasting madafu. Yeah. I must. Tomorrow I'll get you madafu. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like it better than the sunflower? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the no, sunflower, no. So there are a lot of... That is, that is a mosque, right? Yeah, that's a mosque. Uh -huh. You can see how this place, there's enough field for even, for even, for even the kids. Beautiful. Now we are in like the, the, the villages. Yeah, so now where we are going, this is now like we can say villages. So we are in villages in Mombasa. These are some of where like the Swahili, Swahili people live. We find a lot of Giriyama. Huh? Oh, Giriyama. Ah. Basically the Mijikenda, the nine tribes of Mombasa. Yeah. The Mijikenda. Mm -hmm. Now these are like the original inhabitants of this place, right? Yeah, so uh, these are, uh, you see Bamburi, where we are, we are mm -hmm. saying those people are all immigrated to the coast. But now, where we are right now, these yeah. are people who are here long, long time ago. Even if you listen to that music, these are Griam. Yeah. So. That's a very local song, traditional one at that. Ah. I think I'll have a thumbnail here. I love a thumbnail. So these are like deep, deep villages. <coughs> Guys, you see the vibe. That is coconut tree. Yeah, that's a coconut tree. Uh -huh. All the children, uh, the kids are playing with that mango tree. We're almost uh, in mango season. You see a lot of mangoes around. Yeah, I can see. So these are like the deep villages. Yeah. And now deep in the villages of Look at the sunset. Beautiful. You know? Tanga in Mombasa. This is also bamboo, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Mm. 
these are the deep, deep in the villages, but in Bamburi, like 45, 50 minutes from. Can you talk to them? Yeah, I'm going to talk to them if you want. Ah. So, I've seen some locals here. Huh? I'm sure they won't mind if you talk to them. Ah, let me see. Check. These are the villages. Mostly have villages. So I'm still in Bamburi now, but I'm in the deep, like the Swahili. Most of the people here, I don't know if they're Swahili or Mijikenda, but I have like guys who've been staying here. Hey, VP one. So you've been staying here yes. for how long? Ten years now. Ten years. Yes. So you are like locals of this place. Right. So like which tribes are uh, here? Is it the Mijikenda? Is it the Griyama? Different types of tribes. Ah, different Somalis. Even Somalis are here? Yeah, Somalis, Bajuns, Arabs are also here. And Mijikendas. So majority, majority of the population? Majority Mijikendas. Mijikendas. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I see this is uh, like very normal. I've met so many people chewing cut. Yeah. It's a very normal. It's a very normal thing. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. I've been trying to explore this place just to get to know the feel and to show people what Bamburi is because Bamburi is like known for so many things. Yes. So I decided to come inside, inside the villages, just to get the feel. And here, most of you guys are Muslims. Yes. Ah, okay. So are there like uh, Christians around? Yes. That's what we do. We are mixed. You're mixed. Yeah, Mijikendas and even Muslims with Christians. Mijikenda Muslims, Christians. And Muslims, yeah. Ah. Okay, bro. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, my name is Lennox. I'm just touring. Let me just continue my tour okay. as okay. I Welcome. show people around. Okay, okay thanks. Okay. Those are like the locals of this place. They've lived here. They've grown. They're like here is where everything. This is the original place. And it tells me that different different people live here. So it's not only the Giriyama people. But there are so many different guys who live here. And let's walk around. There is like home. There is like that, you know. It's an upcountry feeling. Yeah, yeah, there's that upcountry up feeling. Which is really nice. And some houses are built with stones. Yeah, uh, small, stones small stones and mud. So um, most typical Swahili houses, that's how they are built. The typical Swahili houses. Yeah, stones and mud and uh, a high roof. Oh, why is it high roof? Probably for ventilation. Hello. Hello, how are you? Yeah, fine. Oh, we are touring your area. We are touring. Yes, that's touring this place. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Nairobi. Nairobi? Yes. Welcome. Ah, thank you. Welcome. I don't know if you mind saying hi to people who are. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. okay. We are the locals around this place. Swahili, native, native Swahili speakers. Yeah, you are telling me about the houses made with stones, small, small stones. That the typical yeah, Swahili, small stones with high roofs, wood and uh, mud. Uh -huh. The high roof is mm -hmm. most probably for, for ventilation. To yeah, for ventil uh, because uh, in Tanzania also, like they have the high roofs for heat. I don't know something. They have like the high roofs, that is how they construct their houses. Probably a Swahili thing. Yeah, it's a Swahili thing. And Lennox, I don't need mm -hmm. to realize mm -hmm. the women here they mostly wear loose clothes. Uh, mm -hmm. The loose clothes is what we call a dera. Oh, those are deras? Yeah, yeah mostly uh, women at the coast wear them. 
Is like home, home, home. And we're not very far from town. We are not very far from town, also. This is still Bamburi. And it's not far from town. Yeah. Okay, bro. I'm seeing as we go inside this side, they are very beautiful houses. Like the rich people live uh, here. Uh, uh, when I said, but when we just got here, this place uh -huh. is like uh, the suburbs. These are like suburbs. Yeah. This is where the you leafy suburbs. To retire. You just buy, uh, purchase a plot of land, build your house, and enjoy your happily ever after. Away from the noise and the chaos yeah. of the city. Guys, look at those beautiful houses. Look at that. Houses are quite nice. So do you plan to live here for also you so that you know one day you come? Ah, this is a nice place. I think I can retire here. <laughs> Bro, you're still very young and talking about retired. <laughs> it's peaceful. I like huh? the choir. Look. It's some old town vibes. Then we'll head to Old Town, by the way. Yeah, we'll head to Old Town. Yes. There's a rich history in Old Town. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. The people who interacted with the Portuguese who came to the coast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The early Arabs, the Omans, the Yemenis. Bro, it seems like you've mastered the history of this place. You you grew up here, by the way. I just learned that you grew up in this place. Yeah, I was here when I was in primary school. Mm -hmm. yeah, we were here for a while before we migrated to up country. But you, this is where you are brought up in. Ah, for sure, for here. Ah. This place is so beautiful, man. So this road, if you go direct, where is where are we headed? We can take us back to the house. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Nice. So my people, I'm in Bamburi. Getting to know Bamburi. Touring this place. It's a very beautiful place. A very nice place. And my friend is taking me around to learn these people. See, if you want to know people, you learn them. What do they eat? Which language do they speak? So here they speak Swahili. Swahili. So I've realized, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, mm -hmm. when I put on this, this hat, mm -hmm. I have like very easy access to people. Yeah, uh, these people uh, they are used to tourists. Tourists, yeah, they are used to foreigners coming in. Uh, so like they have no problem with me recording and everything. Yeah, so that's so why I have to. People want my. Remember that museum? That museum mounted and they said no. Yeah, yeah. But most people here are used to tourists and uh, foreigners. Recording. Yeah. Because even in the tuk tuk. That guy, he was speaking to me in English. Just two or ten pictures. I said, well, uh -huh. now I have an access. I can use my heart to get what I want. Hello. A very nice place. And there are so many buildings are being erected in this place. Hello. Like new buildings. Yeah, people are realizing the value of Mombasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are constructing the same. But when it when 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 it rains, it's something else. Uh, as you can see, the road here has been upgraded. No, but uh, when you walk in the in the villages. Ah, in the villages now. You, you feel that when it rains, sorry. Uh, it's not sandy like the previous video. I said uh, most this place is sandy. Yeah, here this place is not that sandy. This black cotton soil is a headache. So when it rains. Pause. 
So guys, I haven't left Bamburi. This is still Bamburi. This is still part of Bamburi. We're just touring Bamburi, getting to know. We just got off like around five minutes and we are here. Bamburi Utange. Bamburi Utange. And I'm told this is like the suburb. So guys, if you're joining this video right now, consider subscribing if you're visiting for the first time. Thank you very much. My name is Lennox Jr. I'm in Mombasa, Bamburi, touring this estate. That's a little bit off town, and you already hit this beautiful, you know, leafy suburb. So this is a road being constructed all the way. I don't know where it leads to, but it's a new road being constructed. Let's follow it, we see where it leads. So why are these places like the population has really reduced since we started, since we were walking? I've noticed that the number of people this side yeah, so population the, is a little bit down. There are not a lot of uh, houses on this side. Maybe just this block of apartments. Mm -hmm. uh, right ahead, we have uh, a bamboo cement property. It's ah. old up, so there are not a lot of uh, houses here. Ah, so where is this place? This is Breban International School. I don't know if oh, it's Biban. the first one. No, I didn't, but I know it. It's an international school. Oh, so this is like really, really the suburb. Leaf suburb mm -hmm. of this place. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So the sun is setting. It's an evening. We reach here in the evening hours. To get to see you know this place well to get to know it these are the apartments around this area this international school Hello guys, so the sun has set already, maybe you can stand, no, no it's okay, um, shield me from the lights, the sun has set, I'm in Bamburi, just having a stroll, taking you to this place, it's very quiet, this is like a public school, we are off town, and uh, there's not much happening this other side. This is like where the rich hide in this area. So there are uh, there are not much happening. I'm walking with Saverius. Hello everyone. He's the one taking me around this We're place. Still doing the tour. Yes. Yeah. So where we are Swahili. right now? Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, Bamburi this is a Welfare. Church. Yeah, that's a Catholic church. Uh -huh. This is Bamburi Welfare. This is good for workers who work in Bamburi. Cement. Oh, Bamburi Cement. Yeah. Oh, so guys, Bamburi Cement is a very big company here uh, that processes 
cement supplies the entire country so this place is very quiet you don't find like a lot of things happening this side very interesting this is a complex there's so many things inside and there's like the means of transport we call them tuk tuk so guys thank you very much for watching this video uh, i really appreciate my name is lennox jr i'm still in mombasa county 001 and uh, i'll still be walking around this this area taking you to different places i'm supposed to leave mombasa somewhere else but today i have to tour this Swahili place i'll uh what is in uh, old town like we need to go to old town what is there oh uh, old town uh, the Swahili people live that's where they settled oh the Swahili yeah that is that's where, where they... the old town like the town before mombasa town came up Ah, okay. Yeah. That town used to exist way, way before the current regime. Uh -huh. We still had the sailors coming on the boat. Uh -huh. Yeah, the adventurers, all mm -hmm. the Portuguese and the Arabs. Yeah, so that's where they used to do their trading and interaction. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we do. So I'll be headed to Old Town. I'll show you Old Town. Mm. So this video is coming to an end right here it's a beautiful place quiet place no noise the wind is really refreshing you know the sun just set as you can see i love this place but the video is coming to an end thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to now i really appreciate your support this video comes to an end right here. Thank you very much. Bye guys.